Welcome back to the Charismatic Voice. You know that we listen to your comments because we actually do the songs that you request the most. Shout out to our subscriber, Paul Hammer, who wrote, I highly recommend reacting to Lonely Day for a very Darren-centric performance. His voice is amazing in its own right, and he takes center stage in that track with Serge on backup. I'd love to hear Darren take the lead. So let's get to it. Such a lonely day, and it's mine. The most loneliest day of my life. Such a lonely day should be banned. It's a day that I can't stand. The most loneliest day. Ooh. There's elements that are in common between Darren and Serge, which makes sense for them singing together a bunch as they do, but I think you guys are right. There's, uh, there's a lead quality in Darren's voice that just is very strong in its own right. I'm going to go back, uh, mention a couple things. Also, I think that this, um, opening, I believe it was, it had something in common with the House of the Rising Sun. It's a chord progression, very similar. Might actually be exactly the same. I'm not sure though. I think it's just similar. Very interesting fire there. Such a lonely day, and it's mine. The most loneliest day of my life. Wow. Man, there's so much extra ring on top of his voice. He's got a very, very strong overtone that's about one octave above the fundamental pitch that he's singing, meaning that um, essentially we are hearing this acoustic phenomenon of the pitch that he's singing resonating and creating another pitch that we can, we hear kind of as a shimmer or a brightness in the sound that's about an octave above. Uh, it's very, very present. He has great focus on that sound. Part of the reason he has so much focus too is it's, it actually goes fairly, fairly nasal. It's similar to Serge. He does a similar thing. He gets fairly nasal as well. They go forward and just they sing in this part of the mask. Uh, and also it's a very good pitch. I want to go back to his intro here again. Such a lonely day. It's very good pitch. It's mine. The most loneliest day of my life. Such a lonely day should be banned. <laughs> I love that notation there. Day that I can't stand. And that choice of scale um, definitely is pulling from some different ethnic roots. It's it's exciting pitches to me to hear. It's one of the things I really like about System of a Down. They bring in some Armenian heritage into their sound, and I think it makes it uh, slightly exotic. It's very cool to hear. Day that I can't stand The most loneliest day of my life The most loneliest day of my life curious about all of the fire that we're seeing throughout in this music video. I have always particularly loved System of a Down's music videos. I think they have really interesting creativity and uh, tons of symbolism as well in their music videos. Just I think they're pretty stellar. Uh, if you haven't paid attention to their music videos, if you've only listened to their albums, then definitely go check them out and see the creativity they're putting into them. I think it's pretty awesome. This one has this theme of fire everywhere. And I wonder if that has something to do with this lonely day. Um, obviously it feels like it's a pretty terrible day because he's using bad grammar. The most loneliest day. <laughs> Cringe. <laughs> but that's very purposeful. 
Man, it's not just the pitch selection. I think there's like a little jiggle <laughs> is a way to describe it. It's like almost like um almost like using vibrato to bounce around quickly. Yeah, and you hear when he gets down to the bottom pitch, it kind of does like a boom before it settles in. Uh, yeah, it definitely feels like uh, it's, it almost uses a tiny little laryngeal bobbing to aid in that really rapid pitch shift. It's a day that I'll never miss. It's fascinating. Such a lonely day, and it's mine. the town is able to achieve again a difference in each of their songs they're able to essentially have some excursion from their fundamental sound in each one that makes a song feel new to me like it's a new sound for them every time uh, as I've gone deeper into this rabbit hole that is one of the things I've been appreciating the most I want each song to stand on its own and not just feel like it's a replication of something else. It's really, really cool. I think it speaks very highly to the band's ability to continue to create new things as well. That's that's hard. So many bands have difficulty with the longevity in a career because of that. Um, I'm going to go back here. The harmonies in this are fantastic. I want to go with you So it's partly because of the blend in their voices, right? Both uh, both Darian and Serge have that focus, the nasal focus, and a way of singing very directly into the pitch. It's uh, forward, but it also, uh, it just has a directness in the attack uh, right on the pitch. And then additionally, there's the harmonies are fairly simple, yet uh, it's almost like static vertical. That's the way I describe it. Yeah, it's a fairly simple line, and so they're just really relying on, I think, a lot of that blend. And uh man, I think it might be that the two of the voices together are increasing those overtones even more. There's that's very, very attractive um, in that sound together. I wanna go with you. that that uh, vocal line is lingering. Also, uh, digging the, the instrumental solo that's come up here. And it, this song just feels pretty down and depressed, which I guess that's what I should have expected from Lonely Day. I like the way that they've portrayed that in the music video, though. And uh, there's two things that have come up that I think are super cool in the music video. Uh, the first is, I think it's amazing that you have the band near each other but not talking to each other because I think that expresses the loneliness that humans can feel in the presence of others so often people say oh you're lonely go spend time with other people and that doesn't necessarily solve the problem you have to be willing 
to be with other people um, and be present with them. And I think that a lot of times when you're lonely and feeling really down, there's sort of walls that go up. And I think uh, this portrayal of loneliness, despite being in close quarters, is just amazing and important to understand. The other thing is the fire overlay that I see in the video in a lot of different places, it almost feels like it's this metaphor of it feels like everything around is burning, like it's just maybe crumbling to pieces. Uh, and I think especially if a person handles that on their own, it can just be so depressing if they see many, many parts falling apart in their life. And I, I love the way it's been superimposed on top of so many different things in the music video. It, there's a beautiful story that's being told here that I think is very applicable to tons of different lives. I'm gonna go back a little bit again. runs in harmony were super cool in that break. I was noticing the harmonies uh, before as well and the instruments and how they were similar to the vocal harmonies, but then when they got running like that, oh, super, super duper cool. I'm going to go back. Oh, further. like the power behind that line a lot. And I think part of the directness that I was trying to describe earlier is also in their vibrato choice. Most of the time they're singing straight, but when you hear a little more power enter, sometimes you hear a little more desire for that vibrato to come in. And uh, I think because of that, we get this sort of like quiver sometimes that feels really impassioned. I'm going to go back a little bit. Oh. Ah! The most loneliest day of my life I think I think we had them flip parts there as far as pitches for searches under. Though there might have they might have been doing that some earlier too. Um, that's pretty cool that their voices are gonna be able to switch who's on top and who's on bottom very easily. It's one of the things that I think makes them really ideal colleagues in this. A lonely day, and it's mine. It's a day that I'm glad I survived. Okay, I know you guys are probably all wondering what was what was that face. I I swear that I heard sculpture in there. There's this. <laughs> Um, I'm really curious now actually what program they produced this in because there's a, a really cool piece of software inside of Logic Pro, I think it's 10, and 
it's called sculpture. It's this modeling instrument where you can change the different kinds of material that the software instrument is made of. You can change where the pickups are. Uh, there's so many different aspects of this instrument, it's like a virtual instrument kind of, that you can adjust. And, and I heard this sound in the background come in and I went, oh my gosh, I, that sounded like sculpture. It's so interesting. It's a, it's a really amazing software piece. No, they didn't pay me to say this. I just think it's really cool. Day, right there. It's that kind of like almost hollow, but bowed sound day at the same time. <gasps> what a cool, what a cool sound to put in behind his voice here too. It's very like, very contrasting to Darren's timbre, extremely different. Um, but it has that hollowness in it that I think the song is portraying. And it's mine. It's a day that I'm glad I survived. There's that, that vibrato is perfect there. Whoa. Whoa, detuning. Woo. <laughs> Thank you to all of you who've been making recommendations below in the comments of our YouTube videos. I find this extremely satisfying to follow your guide and get to discover things like another band member taking the lead. This was fascinating to be able to look at Darren's voice a little more under the microscope and understand partly why it works so well together with Serge's and also why he's such a strong singer in his own right. So thank you so much for this recommendation. If you want to see some more analysis of other System of a Down songs, you can check out this playlist over here and may you fall more in love with music every day.